In this video, we're taking a closer look at No Man's Sky. We're looking at the pros and the cons and everything you need to know before you buy No Man's Sky. But is it actually worth playing? Let's find out. Iron Game Creator here. No Man's Sky is an open world survival and exploration game. And the game is all about exploring space and surviving in harsh elements. And No Man's Sky is out on full release for $50. When No Man's Sky released in 2016, it had a very rocky launch. The game did not work as intended and failed on its premise and its promises. However, since release and still to this day, a huge amount of work has been put into it by by the developers and this includes a ton of free updates and improvements with over 18 quintillion procedural generated planets it's unlikely you will ever run out of new things to explore this does also mean exploration is the biggest aspect of the game you do also have the standard survival combat and crafting elements but it's very focused on exploration this game is not a shooter it is not a simulation game the game is not very action-packed it is a full-on exploration game and that may deter some players now an early game of no man's sky you spawn in on a planet and you must then repair a spaceship and escape a storm on that planet and this gives you a nice early introduction to the game mechanics and then once you leave the planet and escape the storm you see all the mechanics of space as well now the more you progress throughout the game your focus and objectives will change in early game it is solely focused on the survival part as you need to collect materials for your life support functions and fuel for a spaceship but later on in the game you can choose to simply buy these simple materials and focus on other things like space exploration this gives the game a nice sense of progression since there's always something to gather explore or buy and yes, you can of course buy massive spaceships and even freighters. Now in terms of some of the game mechanics, let's talk about the 18 quintillion planets. Each planet is unique and varies from each other in many ways. From the landscape, biomes and resources. Oh, and the species on each planet is also completely random. Which is where you might have seen some of the old No Man's Sky memes from. You can also upgrade your character and your equipment. This includes your ship, tool, weapons and more. No Man's Sky also has a ton of systems within the crafting, building and fabricating. It starts out with very basic components and machinery and gets gradually gradually more advanced throughout the game. This adds a ton of replayability and a nice sense of progression. No Man's Sky recently had a big combat system update and it actually improved the game a lot. Before it was quite basic and included shooting things with your laser, you now have ammunition types, firing modes, skins and more. And this is just another indicator that the developers are still actively listening to the community and improving the game's shortcomings. Now this does not mean that combat is a massive part of the game. I would not call this an action-packed shooter game. It is still mainly focused on exploration, building and crafting. Also a really cool feature is the space combat you have missiles and lasers to use for combat in an all-out war in space. Now, No Man's Sky is not a game you play for the story. It is still fairly interesting. It relies more on missions with some lore to them. So the mission might include go X and explore or go save this person. But these missions are completely optional and can be completely ignored if you so choose. So without a story, the game progression is focused mainly on unlocking, building and exploring new things. And of course, buying the biggest spaceship possible because size matters. <clears throat> no Man's Sky is great for the multiplayer aspect. It runs smooth and you can can easily spawn near each other with the use of the hops you can always access so if you're the kind of player that always wants to play with your friends this is definitely a good game for you to pick up now in terms of the graphics this game is beautiful the amount of times you will be amazed just by the beauty and the level of detail is incredible for a game that is procedurally generated a lot of errors look completely handcrafted with how beautiful they are and also flying from planet to planet and space travel is undeniably cool now a controversial topic of the game is the replayability so like i mentioned before the game does not really have a storyline and even though there are mechanics like building crafting etc there is definitely a massive focus on the exploration part and the gameplay loop itself can be quite boring or repetitive if you don't like this sort of playstyle. so some players will buy this game and play it for 10 hours and then be completely bored because the gameplay is just the same but for others on the other hand there can be hundreds if not thousands of hours of gameplay and variety in it if this is actually the kind of game you are into it will depend a lot on you it is not very action-packed at all and flying from planet to planet can sometimes Sometimes take multiple minutes so you really have to ask yourself before you buy this game if that's the kind of progression you are after now if you found this video useful so far make sure to boop the like button as it really helps out the channel thank you so much for doing that now let's look at some pros and cons of the game so to start off with the pros the exploration and planet generation is awesome now this is of course also the main aspect the main focus of the game exploration and planet generation and they have definitely nailed it the next pro is the graphics and also the diversity in biomes etc i personally love how this game looks this is one of the best looking games that i've seen in a long time even though it is quite old and then you also top it with the sheer amount of diversity in terms of the species planet generation the biomes the resources as well it looks absolutely fantastic and this also ties into the last pro that is the variety you have complete freedom to roam the galaxy as you see fit and you have infinite replayability and variety if you like this sort of game now for the cons the gameplay loop can be quite boring or at least very repetitive depending on what kind of player you are the gameplay loop is usually collect this resource then use the resource 
us to craft an item and then either build something new or sell it and then rinse and repeat. The next con is the bugs. No Man's Sky is still a bit buggy. It's not terrible, but there are still a few, but it has improved a lot since launch. And the final con is that the game is not everyone's cup of tea. You should only purchase this game if you're into exploration, base building, and farming. Do not buy it for combat, RPG elements, or high action gameplay. Now, this isn't a con from me per se, but it is something to be mindful of when you're looking at the game. Now, let's grade the game, shall we? The first thing we're looking at is the gameplay. That is the most important aspect. You can ignore a lot about a game as long as I really good gameplay mechanics system and does the game work as intended and here i have to give no man's sky an a it literally says on the description on steam that no man's sky is a game about exploration and survival in an infinitely procedural generated universe it doesn't mention anything about high octane gameplay or crazy focus on combat or building or anything like that so the game does work as intended and live off the promises and the supporting mechanics and systems of the game like building crafting and also the new and improved combat system they all function and they all add to the gameplay but it is an exploration game and they have nailed it the next thing we're grading on is graphics sound and immersion basically do you get these wild moments where the game just blows you away now the sound is not something spectacular there are no voice lines but like the music is pretty good but the main thing here is definitely the graphics and immersion and it gives the game a really authentic look and here i also have to give the game an a the graphics and the sheer amount of variety in terms of the visuals the species the planets the biomes it really is a completely new level compared to all the games out there and the final thing we are grading on is the progression and replayability basically does your effort feel meaningful and this one is very difficult to grade for some players this would be an f grade and for others it would be like an a plus because the progression and replayability is not really in the game itself but more in terms of how creative you are and how much you love exploration so personally for me in progression i give no man's sky a b now that being said i love this game the only thing that annoys me a little bit is the gameplay loop if they could add in a few more features later on so the game isn't just a three-step progress every time this can definitely improve so the overall grade of no man's sky is there for an a minus no man's sky will not be for everyone the game has no real set goal or storyline and that will definitely deter some players early game can also be fairly grindy as you need to gather a lot of resources but you can set up systems later on to mitigate this but it will take some time to get there but if you however love exploration in extremely detailed sandbox game then you will love this game with complete freedom to roam the galaxy as you see fit you have infinite replayability and variety now no man's sky is not a perfect game but it has come a long way since launch and i look forward to see how great this game will become in the future with the amount of work the developers are still putting into it and no man's sky is a great contender for probably the best redemption story in game history and i would therefore highly recommend that you buy and play no man's sky comment down below what you think of no man's sky and also check out the video on the screen now as i think you also really enjoy that game review and i'll see you in the next video peace out folks